You know, I'm going to the liquor store, but you people drive me to drink. <laughs> I'm here on the side of the road. I, I have to stop and I, I don't do rant videos, okay? I don't complain to the camera, maybe a little bit, but there's something that's been bugging me for a while now and I want to help rather than complain about it. So today we're gonna go through how I start and stop my recording and talk about a couple of the complaints I see on YouTube quite often and how to prevent them or fix them. So let's get the cameras fired up. We start with the 10 that's on my helmet, push the button. While that turns on, we come over here to the nine and we start that up. Once they're both on, hit the button and the remote comes on. Hey, look at that. Decent battery charge. And that's the first thing is you need to, before you leave the house, make sure that you've got two things. One, you've checked to make sure that your cameras are charged up, the battery's in the camera, and bring spares. I carry a little bag here and it's got a couple of spares. Since I'm running a 10 on the helmet and nine on the fairing, then it's easy because it's one battery type. I just need two of them. We'll talk about that in a minute too. Well, we've given everything a time to warm up. It says multi-cam. It's gonna connect to both cameras and we're ready to go. So now all we need to do is get on the bike and start recording. And that's tip number one. You gotta start the recording. <laughs> that's not a tip. That's not a tip number one at all, John, shut up. So let's go for a ride and talk about this whole recording process thing. Nice. Always a good day when the bike starts. And it is a warm January day. It's mid fifties, I think, but we're on Cattail Road here up towards Frederick, Maryland. Now, I don't think I've ever been on this road, but uh, woo, hey now, whiskey throttle. But we're on this road because I missed my turn to go to the liquor store. And the reason I say people drive me to drink with this problem, this excuse is they'll be like, man, I just, I just rode the best road and I had the most spirited ride, but I didn't catch it because my GoPro died. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but you can generally tell when the thing's recording, right? But I wear a half helmet and maybe I can hear the beeps better, or maybe they had the beeps on their GoPros turned down. I don't know. I got mine turned to high because I'm half deaf and I'm wearing earplugs and I'm wearing a helmet and I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I'm in like some residential neighborhood or something. Now, I didn't record the ride up here because I wanted to save my battery juice for later, i.e. right now. But wow, this is a neat road to ride. Cool, I gotta remember this. But I hear it so many times in the video. Oh, I kept talking and the, the camera shut off. Hey, look. Yep, two seconds. Okay, I, that was a bad example because I just crossed over the road. But at a stop, at a stop, it's a good time to take a look and make sure your cameras are recording. Or if you have the remote, the display, and I would look at it, but I need to navigate this corner. <laughs> this road's a little more technical than I was expecting. <laughs> it is not long, flat, and straight to uh, record on. Anyway, you can look at the remote and the remote's display will tell you how many cameras are connected. So you have a general idea of whether or not your cameras are recording. And by the way, I will leave links to everything in the video description below, everything that I use. So, you know, if there's something you see that you don't have, but I have, and you like what I'm doing with it, you can help support the channel by buying it through my Amazon affiliate links. Yes, I'm shilling for myself today. Hashtag not sponsored. Check that out. That's a neat picture, right? Yeah, I'm looking at the road. You look at the scenery, pretty scenery. Pretty pictures. It's as pretty as it's gonna get today. It's like really cloudy. Back on topic, back on topic. Focus, John, focus. When I'm riding, I've got the display here. See, it's straight now, I can look at it. And it says I'm recording and there's two cameras recording, two cameras connected. And the only excuse that I will give is either the Hero 10 up here doesn't like to record the audio or the Hero 9 likes to disconnect from the remote. It happens, sometimes it doesn't start, sometimes it doesn't stop. So put your most reliable camera on your helmet, which records your audio. And then if you're using a Hero 10, make sure your audio meter is working and you're recording the actual external microphone audio. I have videos on that. 
what is this nonsense? I'm riding through somebody's backyard or what? <laughs> this is awesome. You know what? I might've been up here last year. I don't recall. Anywho, we're coming up to a stop sign. Oh, we're almost to the liquor store. Great. Great times are ahead by some. But it's one of those things where with a little bit of forethought, every day that I go out recording, I make sure that my batteries are charged up in the camera. I test them on my desk. If they are not charged, I put them on the charger and then I go take the spares that I have and I put those in the cameras. That's, uh, that's just how you do it. And I got plenty of spares. Here's a picture. <laughs> that's not even the four Enduro batteries that I've bought. Uh, they're awesome, by the way. But also about every two weeks or so, you want to check those spare batteries because you want to make sure that they are juiced up and good enough to go. And that brings up another point. The 8, 9, 10, and Max all record for different amounts of time. So I know generally what I'm going to get out of the 9 and 10. And I know that if I look at the back of the screen, I can't do it with these gloves on. But if I tap the back screen, it turns on the front screen. It gives me a general idea of how much juice is left in the 9. And I can generally guess that there's about 10 or 15% less in the Hero 10 than the Hero 9. That's T-H-A-N, not T-H-E-N. Hey, I finally see another motorcyclist as I turn in front of him. Not too close, not too close. Nice, what's up? First bike of the day. Nice, nice bike. I, um, I haven't seen enough people out today. They're not riding around like they should be. And now it is time for libations, or procuring libations, not consuming. No, don't, don't drink and ride. Turn the bike off though. Oh, we're neutral. There we go. Ah, always remember to put your kickstand down. Wee. I'll stogie holder there. Nope, it's not gonna work today. I'll put it there today. Stay. What's up, buddy? Hello, how are you doing? Hey there, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? Hey, there it is. You know what? Adventure Tomek recommended this. We're gonna try this one today. Hey, it stayed, good. Hey, you're still there, even double gooder. Let's see here. Eh, you'll sit in the back there. You'll just rest there. You can go right there. Tomek, I hope you were right. I hope that tin cup is good. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Got my errand done. It's dry January, so I gotta make up for all you people that aren't drinking. <laughs> can I get out this way? I hope so. Whee! We're gonna make three lefts and a right. Hit the brakes. Go. Ah, Maryland 107 on a windy day. Look at the look at the flags. It's windy. Yep, they're making a slow ass right. What's up, buddy? Super duty, super duty. This is the part where the video goes off the rails. But. I think I've given you some tips on how to prevent the dreaded, I didn't get the footage because my GoPro wasn't on. Excuse. <laughs> uh, I do like to be helpful. I don't like to rant. You know who you are that like to rant. It's not my shtick. Every once in a while, every once in a while, I will rant. Ooh, Toto, Africa is on the radio. Oh, I should listen to that. Be back in a minute. I have seen more BC cliffs than motorcyclists today. What gives, guys? It's 50 some degrees, go out and ride. Come on, pass him. There you go. Watch this. Passing on the left. Passing on the left. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, back to Toto. song hey look a pond a pond i see the pond ha <laughs> ha squirrel <laughs> coffee is finally kicking in baby ah love it love it love it love it love it ah coffee 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 good times 
So what questions do you have about GoPros and how to use them to do moto vlogging? Or more specifically, how I use them to moto vlog. I know a lot of people have a lot of different setups and today's helpful tips may not be helpful to all, but it could be a good refresher and somebody might actually learn something, which is why I try to record helpful videos. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Oh, check out this corner, this is cool. I like this little corner, bum, 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 bum. No, 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 slow down. Ba, 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 there we go. Had to get the engine braking involved, Wee. Oh yeah, good times, good times. So that's about gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to boot the like button share it with your friends. Maybe they need help with their GoPros. I'm nothing if not helpful. I'm constantly being told that I'm helpful. No, John, stop lying. Helpful is not the word they're using. You can't use that word on YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, remember the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. Maybe this time it's charging up your batteries so you don't miss those awesome shots. Take it easy.